Hit me in the face. I have no weapons. <laughs> that gum, I've still got more in here. <laughs> How do I still have ammo? I'm out. All right, so first up, knife news. No. So uh, for knife news for us, uh, we just had a great National Knife Day, a great Case President's Day event. It's been so It was busy. a lot of fun. We've been insanely busy. Now everybody's going back to school, and we're just here to show you some knives. We've got our rep weekend coming up. Yes. Very soon. That's going to be uh, the weekend of October 14th, 15th, and 16th, I believe it is. So we'll be having a lot more promo videos and stuff coming yeah. out with it in the coming weeks. Uh, we're just really early on this one, but, you know, that's yeah. what we want to go ahead and let you, know, let you know. So you can be making plans. If you get a chance to come down, it's going to be a lot of fun. We're going to have a lot of really cool stuff set up, live entertainment. We're going to have a lot of food available. Dave Canterbury is going to be here five with his food Overland. Trucks, right? Five food trucks, a lot of food. Three bands. Three bands. We're going to have uh, Dave Canterbury here is going to be doing uh, some uh, like uh, demonstrations. He's also going to have his Overland vehicle here. Axe throwing. Axe throwing from the Axe House. They're going to be here. Maybe a beer truck. We'll see about that. <laughs> we're, we're we're checking into that right now as as we speak. We don't know the legalities of you know beer. So. And- Checking into all that, and it's going to be a lot of fun, folks. So if you're in town, if you're able to get here, if you're just within a couple of hours, it's definitely going to be worth it. It's going to be really cool set up out in our parking lot. We're also going to be doing some demonstrations with some of our cooking equipment, pellet grills, such as that. And also... Uh, I still feel like we're missing a couple of things. Like there's cutting a, there's going to, oh, cut, yeah. Cutting competition. That's what I was trying to get at. Yeah. So a really cool cutting competition as well. So if you're... Able to get here, it's going to be a lot of fun. We're going to have a blast. Now, moving right along, guess what's next? New knives? New knives! Yes. All right. So, we got something new, right? Yeah, we do. We, we sure we sure do. It's, <gasps> what is that? A new arrival. Yes, this is a first production run Benchmade 535 BK-4 bug out. Now, this thing's really cool. It's got T6 aluminum handles, aircraft grade aluminum handles with a nice uh, sunburn sunburn sunburst look to them. And I feel like they I feel like Benchmade made this knife with us and our knife show in mind right there. Oh yeah. I mean we can look just take that. we need to just take it on down to Dylan right now, have him put the knife show logo right yeah, there on right there. Right there on the blade. I, this thing is gorgeous. What do you like about it? So I like how lightweight it is. It it comes in at just two and a half ounces. It's the normal size, three point two four inch M three ninety blade steel right there. And like I said before, T6 aircraft grade aluminum handles with the sunburst look right there. And that's a reversible pocket clip, tip up pocket clip only. That's a big deal for people. And also, one thing that you noted earlier that you really liked is that you really like the anodized hardware on this. It just the, makes it pop. The backspacers and the, the ambi thumb studs. And I agree, especially on that dark DLC coated blade. Having the red anodized thumb studs, I think, looks really cool. It it makes it. I don't know. Like it. I, in this, people probably think I'm crazy for this, but this kind of like reminds me of like a, a performance gaming computer. But like, yep. like or put a, a, a knife. Version yeah, of or it. even like an import tutor car, tuner car. Yeah, you know, that with the anodization. And we were just talking today about about this stuff, like. We need to have more knives that like contrast with vehicles. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. And this would like I feel like there is a car out there that this like would just look great paired with. And it, I know it's crazy, you know, we match our knives to our clothes, but now See, we're I'm, gonna start matching them to our vehicles. Yeah, I'm <laughs> I'm thinking the vibe that I get from it is like a Nissan three fifty Z. 
Oh yeah, something like that. Like they, they got a lot of that same red trim. And exactly. All of it. Yeah. So I, I think I think that's the vibe that I get, and, and that's, that's a very popular uh, color that they use on the outside yes. of them too. That that charcoal gray. Yeah. So I, I think that's really cool. That's a neat new knife. Really like that one. So what if you weren't we looking got? for a reason to buy a knife, we just gave you another one. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> that's gonna go great with your 350Z. So uh, go ahead and throw that puppy in your cart. <laughs> yeah, absolutely, she will. <laughs> Trust me. <laughs> uh. Uh-uh. So we got something really special next, and I, you know I like this one a lot because, well... You already bought I one. I bought one, and you can get this in the store, but it's not available to win. Tuesday, September 6th. Which is tomorrow when this airs. Yeah. So, Case, again, you know, they've they went through a hard time, just like everybody went through a hard time the past year. Yeah, and, just trying to get production up, and, and everybody's been in that same boat, just trying to get stuff out. And it's been very difficult for everyone. And because we just got out of Case Day, I wanted to do this one next. And it is a new exclusive that we have through them. And it's got a lot of special things about it, don't it? It does. It does. So you'll notice, first off, the brown burlap micarta handles on this beautiful trapper here. And let's take a look at that uh, that shield right there. What? What? How does that look so special? Why is that different, T? What? Looks like it says carbon. Does it say carbon? It says carbon. What does that mean? <laughs> well, what that means is Smoky Mountain Knife Works, and in particular, Tyler has been working on getting Case to do a knife in 1095 carbon steel. So, here it is. Wow. Pilot test run. The pilot test run knife of this year, 2021. Is this going to is this is this going to be is going to be this 1095 carbon steel blade. You'll see the 1095 Right there on that tang stamp. It is, uh, man. I, I'm excited, so excited about the future of Case. Yeah, they've got some really cool stuff coming they've out. Got modern folders coming out. Yeah, and they've they, got modern folders coming out. They've also got classic slip joint patterns coming out with premium blade steel, S35 VM blade steel. So, I mean. They're doing some really, really cool stuff, and you guys need to check this stuff out. And if you want to know a little bit more about that, TC did a video with Mari on Case Day that you can find yes. on uh, Instagram and – is it just Instagram? I think it's just Instagram for Just that. Instagram for that one, yeah. Yeah. And so we went live on that one, and we went through all the new products that they've got going on. No, I'm wrong. No, the, we haven't we, done we, that We haven't yet. put it out. We haven't put that it, out yet. So – Stay tuned. We're going to be There's, going over more of all the new stuff that Case has got coming out. And when it comes out, we're going to go, be going over it more in depth as well. But stay tuned for all the new stuff. I would actually look Case. for that video to come out tomorrow yeah. in this video. I would Absolutely. say we're going to probably put that one out on Tuesday. That sounds like a great idea. And so this is another great one right here. With the 1095 carbon steel, they're going to be really, really nice hard blades. And a beautiful knife and again this is a pilot test run you saw it right there on the blade what that's, that means that, is that's why i got one too once this is gone it's gone there and, uh, and like i said in the beginning you can still get this in store yep uh as of right now if you so if you live nearby if you're in the knoxville region east tennessee come on and get you one because these will not last long especially um after talking to Tony, you know, cases dabbled in different blade steels in the early on era, but yep. in the modern era, no. It's they've not dabbled with this kind of right. stuff before. Right. So this is a very special knife. At least I believe so. And a lot of other people, especially at Case and yeah. around here, like it's it's just beautiful to do exclusives with Case because so many people it, you know, I came into this as not really a knife guy. Yeah. But I knew what a case knife was. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. And there is so many people out there of of all shapes and sizes and all kinds of, you know, everybody knows what a case knife is. Yeah. And if you don't, you've been living under a rock and I'm sorry. But yeah. It's they're great knives. I they they've got a, I've got a, a huge passion for them now and you know, you got people like Mari that a case knife just tells a story. Yeah. You know, you, yeah. I'm going to put the picture up here because I made a display and I didn't want to tear it back down. But uh, TC, you know, blessed me with a great little knife that says Duke for my new my new boy. That yeah, that was that out. was one of my favorites. So I, I, I've always been a huge John Wayne fan. And several years ago, I believe it was around, 
uh, 07, Case came out with uh, part of their license series was one of their John Wayne knives has Duke carved into the handle of it Fit for perfect. John Wayne. And since his new little boy is named Duke, I was like, I got to give that to him. And that, that's been something that I've been doing more often lately. Is it feels good giving a knife, doesn't it, it? It really does. It really does. It's very fulfilling, and that's one thing that I really enjoy doing. Maybe maybe that really got into me on National Knife Day, giving away so much. <laughs> and I was like... You turned into Oprah. I turned into Oprah, and now I'm just like, I'm just going to give everyone knives. No, I can't afford to do that. I really can't afford to do that. And, and, but, I, and I want to thank Mari, too, because he, he yeah. got me a really nice one with Duke's name and his birth date engraved. And then Mike Curtis. Yeah, Mike Curtis, a yeah, uh, yeah. fan of the channel, uh, did one of those uh, wooden knife kits that you put together yeah. and everything. Duke's going to have some, I'm going to have some good stories for him yeah. when he gets a little older to tell him, hey, man, you had a lot of people that cared about you. That's really cool. What That's we got next? Really cool. What we what have we got next? What do you want to talk about next? We got some more new knives to go through. Yeah, these things right here are flipping awesome. And wow, that pops, don't it? Yeah, it does. <laughs> that is super cool. These so these just come out last week, and there are seventeen total. I believe seventeen total different models. Twenty one total different models. There are four different handle materials. There are uh, three different blade shapes and two different blade finishes. So the three that we've got in front of us right now are the only three that we've got our hands on at the moment in the studio. They are all clip points. And you'll see the two different blade finishes here. These are three of the handle materials. We've also got a copper one that has the satin finish blade like this. Then we've got the dark stone wash finish blade right there as well. These kind of snuck up on us, didn't These they? These did, and the fat carbon handles have been very popular lately. Just for Vox Nays designed these, designed the original MKM Isonzo, and these are our exclusives. So you're not going to be able to find these anywhere else. These are made by MKM, which is Menagio... Ni uh, Maniago. <laughs> we keep, I keep pronouncing We're, it wrong. It's Maniago. It's it's spelled M A N I A G O. Maniago Knife Bakers, and that's a collaboration, a, a consortium of three different knife companies: Fox Knives in Italy, also Viper, and Lion Steel. So those three knife companies come together to make Maniago Knife Makers (MKM), or what we know as MKM, and. They make fantastic products. Their fit and finish is amazing. These here in particular, I'm going to go over the specs really quick. Uh, you're looking at a two and a quarter inch blade, M390 blade steel. Again, we've talked about that already with the Benchmade. M390 blade steel is uh, something that's going to take. It's going to take care of itself. Yeah. If I have to pick one, I'm going with the Jungle Wear, this clip point blade, and in the dark stone wash finish. That's the one I'm going with. If I have to pick one, that's the one I'm going with right there. Yeah, I I can't say I. It just wants to focus in on that back one. Oh, there it goes. Yeah. I, I can't fault you for that. I mean, when, once you get the green one in hand and look at it, it is very special, spectacular. It's got a shimmer to it. But when you lay them out like that, I, for me, seeing them, seeing them on the camera like this, that red just pops. It man. does. It does. That's why I think I'm, I'm, oh, I'm not going to be able to resist buying two of them. But, um, and I'm just going to hold that over your head since you uh, don't have the budget to do it for another two months. I know. I hope we still have only two months. I, I, I bought all these knives, and then these came out, and I'm like, you got to be kidding me. <laughs> now, I want you to keep in mind, these aren't the only blade styles. We talked about that before. We've got the two different blade finishes. But we've got three different blade styles. These come in the clip point, which is what you see here. They also come in the cleaver and in the hawkbill version. So check those out. You'll see the link in the description below. Those are fantastic, but we've got more new knives to get to, and we've been spending a lot of time on these. First, I'm going to go up with the most budget-minded one, and that is this new Civivi um, Hadros right here. That's a really cool blade shape. I really like that's a, that. I, that's a different-looking knife to me. Like that. It's it's got a slim handle and that one is the blade, blade bigger than the handle. It kind of is. It kind of is. It's a really cool looking little knife right there. Um, you're looking at uh, 
micarta handles black move these out of the way black to... micarta handles right there and that is going to be 10 cr blade steel so uh, a really formidable blade steel for the price point you're looking at 39 dollars on this knife and this thing is just gorgeous ambi thumb studs reversible pocket clip tip up pocket clip liner lock it's it's one of those things that we've come to know and love about Civivi right there. It's something affordable. It's something really cool, very unique. Definitely check those They're out. They're always on top of their game. And we've got different colors, too. We've got a green micarta and I think a brown micarta maybe in the handle material on that one. And we've also got a wooden handled version Ooh. that's $89, and it comes with the Damascus blade that Ooh, Civivi does for really $89? well. Yeah, for 89 What was that bucks. one again? That one is called the Hadros. What's it coming in at? This one's coming in at thirty nine, somewhere in there. So that's thirty nine. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's not a bad deal. Not at all. All right, let's go with this bad boy. I, so I like this, this one's one. really cool. And if you watched our videos from Blade Show, you know that we uh, we interviewed Greg Medford. Mm-hmm. And we talked to him about this knife and his inspiration for this knife. This is the Medford M48. This was his, I guess, homage to I General Patton. I just noticed that. I don't know if it'll show up on camera, yeah. but that is a good touch right there. You'll see right here, right in the top of the blade on the spine right there, made in USA. And that's one thing that Medford really does well. Their fit and finish and their attention to detail. Greg Medford does that as well as anyone. Very passionate. He is a <laughs> extremely passionate individual. And that is a reversible tip-up pocket clip. And you'll see that it's also, it doesn't sit proud at all. It doesn't stick up at all. So it, it's flush with the handle scales. And that is on either side. You'll see that that's milled out right there. This is a frame lock, and this is his homage to General Patton, the M48 tank, the Patton tank. And you'll notice also in that that there are four stars right here on the blade, indicating that Patton was a four-star general. And this is a really, really cool knife. I'm going to go over the specs here really quick. So this one's coming in. This is the OD green. We've got four different colors. We've got a black, we've got a red, we've got a blue, and we've got the green here. That's an S35 VN blade steel blade coming in at 3.9 inches. It's 0.12 inches thick. It is a manual flipper frame lock, and it's got that M48 tank tread right there made into the handle. This thing's just beautiful. What do you think about that one? I think... For me, I I love the story behind this knife, the the reasoning behind it, the the tread marks on the front. Yeah, I'm just it's a good knife. <laughs> like, it, if, I, if and it's a Medford, I mean, if you if you know, you know. Like Medfords are, yeah. are great quality knives, and you know, you when you get one of these, you got something instantly you can be proud of yeah and honoring one of the greatest uh, you know war heroes of i couldn't imagine a better times. gift to get somebody that's yeah you know, especially that's uh, you know a history buff or yeah. that's very into general patent history so yeah and that's that's why i like i mean it's got a great design i like anything that is slim that like the that is super slim that's a it's a great carry like that's gonna go in your pocket and not bother you the whole day. Yeah. So yeah, that's what I love about that. Beautiful, beautiful knife. Next up, we've got the CJRB Gobi. The Sajurb, Sajurb Gobi. <laughs> this one's really cool. We've got a bunch of these in, and they come in different colors. This one I picked out. I picked out to show this color on the show. I'm starting to think you just like the the red anodized. I do like features. the red anodized features, <laughs> and I do like, you know, I do like the Jade G10 handles. Uh, those are my favorite color right there. We I also feel like have these, this one. These glow in the dark, but they, they don't. They huh? don't. <laughs> they don't. They look like they should, but they don't. This one, we also have this one in black and green, as well as a couple of other colors. I don't remember That's exactly. Good. Curve to oh, it. yeah. Is... And it, I mean, it fits in the hand really, really nice. I, 
I would say this could make a really good fillet knife, like a, a tackle box fillet knife. I don't see why not, not a super long blade. But I mean, for anything that I catch, I can tell you right now, this would work great as a fillet knife. And this is the Gobi from CJRB. It's coming in at thirty nine ninety nine. What? Yep, thirty nine ninety nine. It's got that special blade still in it too. Don't yep, it? this has got CJRB's proprietary uh, powdered blade steel, ARRPM nine. And if you know anything about it, it's it's going to be comparable to fourteen C twenty eight N or a stainless version of D two somewhere thereabouts. Close. It's really good still for forty dollars. For forty like, bucks, it's crap. amazing. Right, yeah, it is that's... absolutely amazing, and they're using this in a lot of their knives now. The Malaya, the um, Tigris, um, the Rhea that came out last year that's been so popular. This is going to be a PVD coated blade, three and a half inch ARRPM nine trailing point blade. Uh, with the black PVD coating, 0.13 inches thick. This one is with the JG10 handles and that reversible tip-up pocket clip right there. It also has the red anodized pivot collar and backspacer with the integrated lanyard loop right there. Coming in with 4.72 inches closed and 8.23 inches overall and weighing in at only 3 Point seven ounces and it just springs right out there you know i don't i don't know if this knife would be completed without the red finishes on it no that that absolutely adds to it 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 really does without it it would feel like it's missing something i feel like yeah so it I, it it fits and that's a knife that's gonna grab attention too yeah so. and it's still very slim I, I think it would still be even with the long how long the handle and blade are, I think it carries really well. So that's a great one right there. Some more new stuff, right? More new stuff. Should we go with which one? Let's go with the Olamic. Now this one's really beautiful and this what, is the what new... do they have that is not beautiful is yeah. the question. Uh, Olamic really does a that's, great that's job. That's on my far from now list of things I want. At some point, yeah. At some yeah. point, eventually. It, 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 is, it is definitely on my list of, of grail Gosh, knives, if you will. Everything on it is... Everything about it. The the detail work is You've got to get one of amazing. these in your hands, guys. Like, I don't know if you can make it to the store, but come to the store and, and, and ask to look at one of these. Yeah. Because when you finally get it in hand, you can see the way it hits the light. It just... There's just so many things about it that work. The craftsmanship and the detail work. Now, this one looks like it's double-edged. It's uh, It looks like a spear point double-edged blade. It is not. This edge is not sharp. The, the spine is not sharp. The front edge is, um, obviously, because it's a knife. But let's look at this one up close. Now, this is the Rainmaker pattern that they do. This one's coming in at 645. And there's a reason for that. This is what I would consider a mid-tech. These things are absolutely beautiful. This one features a 4.25 inch Bowler M390 blade. And this is a dagger shaped or, or spear point blade there. But a dagger blade with a satin finish and a blade thickness of 0.15 inches. It is a manual flipper cage ceramic ball bearing pivots it's a frame lock and this one has that bronze seabed titanium handles with the gold colored hardware and the gold nugget backspacer right there and that is what i love right there because it's almost like it's a floating backspacer look at how beautiful that is it's you can, even got its own details that yeah that match the handles it is a uh, titanium liners and titanium tip-up pocket clip also with the same finish as the frame and the handles. It's got the lanyard hole built into it right there. It's 5.5 inches closed, 9.75 inches overall, and weighs only 5.73 ounces and is handmade right here in the USA. So you going to get you one? <sighs> I don't have this in the budget right now. Uh, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta do some work first. I've got some furniture to buy, but ah, uh, furniture or not? 
<laughs> well, one leaves me homeless because I'll get kicked out of my house, and the other option leaves me in good graces. So that's definitely a beautiful knife. Uh, and Bucket list knife right there. Absolutely. Moving on. Next up. And this one's really cool. We haven't talked a lot about this brand on the channel. We have talked about them some, but not a lot. And I really, really like these things. These are from Giant Mouse. And a lot of people wonder who is Giant Mouse. It is a USA company. No, it is not Chuck E. Cheese. No. (laughs) <laughs> no, it is not Chuck E. Cheese. It is a USA-owned company with Danish knife designs. So, very different, very interesting. This is a reversible tip-up pocket clip, and I, I love the designs they're coming out with. I like the pocket clip. Yeah. Yeah, the wire pocket clip's really nice. has that finger choil. This is a very comfortable, very good-sized blade. It just works. Let's let's take a look at that one up close. Now, you'll notice that this one has a flipper tab, but it also has the thumb hole opening. This one also is another one. This is the M390 show we've today. We've got a lot of that, yeah. Yeah, this one's M390 as well. So we've got all the Isonzos. That are M390, the new Benchmade that's M390, the Olamic, and this giant mouse. And I, we, we picked these knives. That was knives. not intentional. That was not intentional at all. But this one features a 2.44 inch drop point blade with a stone wash finish and a blade thickness of 0.118 inches. And one thing that I love that giant that mouse rounded. does is that crowning on the spine of the blade right there. And beautiful jimping right there. It's, it's subtle, but it works. It's got a finger choil right there to give you some real power and precise cuts as well. It's uh, micarta and titanium handles. So titanium uh, liners right there. I was about to ask. uh, It looks like titanium. Yeah, those are titanium liners right there. And that's something that you don't see a lot of. And that's what's making up the price point, which is $195 on this knife. So you're looking at titanium liners and titanium backspacers as well. This one right here is a backspacer with the integrated lanyard tube. So a lot of fit and finish, a lot of work goes into creating these knives. Anytime was, we've played with a giant mouse, if you, if you don't know what we're talking about, that sounds weird. Yeah. <laughs> anytime, anytime we've ever played with a giant mouse, you know. They just, <laughs> Stop. I, I'm just trying to get through it. the sentence. You started it. Oh. Anytime we get through GM, <laughs> they, uh, they they always impress us. Yeah. And the quality and the way they look, it's it's can't complain yeah. about it. So Absolutely. I, so we on to our picks now? We are on to our picks. Our picks. Our picks. And folks, for our picks, we're kind of getting geared up for hunting season. Hunting season is right around the corner. It's not gonna be very long before bow season starts. And you're going to need a good knife to have on you. Way to, to lead in that when my first knife's going to be non-hunting. <laughs> prepare. Well, most of our knives are going to be hunting. Not all of them. But we're going to have our normal three picks. My first one's not really a hunting knife either. But we're going to have all three picks. Budget, mid-range, and high-end. And some of them are going to be pertaining to hunting because we want to get geared up for that. Yeah. Both yeah. seasons right around the corner, then gun seasons right by, right after that. So, And, you know, Thanksgiving and Christmas, you, you they're just excuses. To, they're not excuses. Those are reasons to buy. Reasons. Knives. That's not an excuse. That's a you reason. You have a real reason to get these. Yes. Absolutely. Um, do you want to go first? Or do you want me to go first? You go first. Okay. Well, I'm going to go with one that I absolutely loved the first time I saw it. And they just, this is the newer model. They, I believe this one came out this year with the assisted opening that CRKT does. Yeah. Um, but that is the Squid. And uh, one thing I like about the Squid is how it can fire out super easy with a thumb stud. And if you, you don't want to use the thumb stud, well, guess what? It's got a back flipper as well. Yeah. And it's just so clean. You know, uh, Bryce told me this is one of his favorite knives to give away to people for gifts. And I can see why, because it's just so clean and sleek and it's clean. 
Yeah, it's, it's just a clean knife, and I'll let you. Play it goes with it, it goes with anything. It and you and I have talked about this before. We like having things with different openings and having something to kind of fidget with. So having oh, the it's thumb so stud, fidgety. having the flipper and the thumb stud, and being able to reverse flick that right there is really nice. And you know, it, it feels like quality in your hand. Yeah, and it does. You. It's only twenty eight ninety nine. Twenty. That, that's it. It's that's just amazing. Twenty eight ninety nine. Um, you know, as far as specs on it, you're uh, you're looking at a two point three seven inch blade, and it weighs three point seven ounces. When it's closed, it's five point nine four inches overall, and it is three point five nine inches closed. Uh, it's, handle is uh, stainless steel, and it's. It's a great knife. It know, is. You, for You're getting, you know, a, a designer-made knife. Lucas Burnley designed this knife and did a great job. Did a amazing job, as always. I plan on buying about four or five of these this year to give out for Christmas gifts. So Absolutely. These and the, the CEO. Yeah. Can't go wrong with them, so... Oh, that's a great design. I, I like that one, and I'm, I am all for that one. My first one is actually... A marbles that is a little more expensive than that. So this is a lockback, right? Here. <laughs> oh, Marty, is this that's a knife? This is for Jolly Green Giant. This thing is really cool. So we saw this one pop up on our new knives, and this is one of the one of the new ones that I've been looking at, and I think this thing is really cool. <laughs> Bring that out of your. <laughs> it's a, it's an old school lockback. So you'll notice that the uh, lockback is actually extended out the back of it right there. It doesn't have the cutout like you normally see on all the lockbacks now. So this is a very old school design, but in a very major They had to use a way. whole leg to put the, the handle material on that one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So this is the brown jigged uh, bone handle. And this one is called Marble's Big Old Lockback. <laughs> they named the, Is that really? <laughs> Marble's the, Big Old well, Lockback. They named that correctly. Big Old Lockback. Stainless steel clip point blade with a satin finish, long pull, which you know I like. You know I like the long pulls. And we're going to pop this sucker out. Whew. And listen to that snap right there. That's a, a 440 stainless steel blade, 12.52 ounces. This thing is weighing in, tipping the scales at 12.52 ounces. A great grind on that one and a great blade finish too. That mirror polish finish on that blade. It's, I mean, it's a it's super it's beautiful. Sharp. It's six point two five inches closed, closed. Double that <laughs> open. That one's coming in at thirty nine ninety nine. So that's what? my budget pick. Yeah, thirty nine ninety nine. I was I was exp- see. That's one thing we like to do is like not tell each other the price of these knives yep. before we come in because well, I was going to say sixty five. That's a lot of material. Yeah, it is. It's. I mean, compared to. <laughs> I think the whole blade is the size. That's of the a knife. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so what's up next for you? So I wanted to go with another old school brand. Okay. Uh, with uh, the Uncle Henry series. It, you know, if you're familiar with Shrade, pretty much. All in the same company. And I went with the Uncle Henry Stag Fixed Blade Skinner. And this is what we were talking about, too, is like some of these older knife brands, yeah. they, they don't have names for the knife. The like name big, is the description. Like big old lockback. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Things that really set this apart is how thick that bone that stag is. That sucker is stubby. You, and, and it's good because it fits in your it, it fills up your palm a, a good bit and it makes it, it it gives you a lot of confidence when when using something that is seemingly small and fairly lightweight but it's got it's got the thickness and the girth to give you confidence when you're using it right there especially as a skinner and the size on that for people that need to know is uh, the blade length the, just the blade is 2.5 inches, and the overall length is 6.25. It, it's coming in at 64.99, which is a great deal for D, uh, for D2 tool steel, a leather sheath, bone stag, and a great brand. Yeah, so absolutely. 
That's a good pick. That's my mid-range pick. My mid-range pick is going to be something that's cheaper than normal for me. And I will admit, it, I didn't intend it to be that way. I actually thought this was going to be a much more expensive knife than what it was. It's a Martini from Finland. And uh, let's take a look wow. at that sucker right there. Look at that. That is just beautiful. I saw this in the case, and I had not noticed this one before. And I saw it in the case, and I was like, man, that is beautiful. Beautiful work right there. I can there. smell it from here. <laughs> <laughs> what? All right, the knife sniffer's back. You don't so, smell it? I, per, I I did not smell that knife until you picked it up and brought it over here. This <laughs> is the Martini AAPA Carbon. So this is going to be very similar to a lot of the traditional Martinis, except it's carbon steel, but it's an ADCRV2 steel. ADCRV2 is what this is made of. And it's hammered. It's got the hammered finish, which is something I really like. I love that from Condor on all the stuff that they use it on. And this knife from Martini looks beautiful with that finish. All right, quit teasing them. Show it to me. All right, let's let's take a look at this up close. And the handle looks beautiful right there. Uh, I love the grind. And, of course, with it being a Martini, this thing is insanely sharp. It's very heavy duty. So this one's coming in with that 80 CRV2 forged carbon steel, straight back blade with black birch handles. It's 0.11 inches thick, features a brass handle ring and reindeer antler bone right there. Did you say reindeer? Reindeer antler bone. Yes. Interesting. Reindeer antler bone. That makes me want it. Even more now. With a protective oil <laughs> coating, it's 9.06 inches overall and weighs only 4.198 ounces. Comes with the black leather sheath right there. I gotta say, this thing is just gorgeous. And I haven't sold the price yet, have I? No. 89 bucks. What? 89 bucks. 80 CRV2 carbon steel. Reindeer antler bone, curly birch handles. That's not curly birch. I have a feeling this uh, one will wind up in your collection. That's the black curly birch handle, yeah. So it is curly birch, yeah. That's a good pick. Yeah. So Especially for that price point to get that beautiful of a knife and that useful of a knife, too. I mean, the thing, we all know Martini is right there with Mora as far as usefulness and sharpness. Oh, my gosh. Thing's amazing. So high end. High end picks. High end picks. So I went with um, a brand that not a lot of people are familiar with, but it's it's a brand that we have in our store that rivals a lot of you know similar stuff. And yeah, they're top notch, and that's White River. And uh, White River has came out with a, a lot of cool stuff. So we got to see some of their stuff at Blade Show that they're coming out with, yep. and it looked really good as well. Really, really cool stuff. And so um, I, I actually went with uh, Chris Rossman. You've seen him in some of our knife tales. And I asked him, I said, you know, Chris, um, I'm going to let you use, do my high-end pick today. And he picked this one out, and he couldn't have picked a better one, honestly. He, he stayed right between the prices I wanted, between $100 and $150 for my high-end today. Yes, I know I have put like $200 knives, $250. I think you've broke 300 on here. Yeah, I have. I have. <laughs> and Not today. But. So, uh, this one comes in at a great price. Um, I'll go ahead and say it right off the bat. It's $140, and this is White River's Firecraft 3.5 Pro. And this is the smallest one of this series that they make. And it is very cool. It has got a lot of features on it that I, I just love. Yeah. And uh, I'll read off some more specs on it. Tell me what you think about it. I think this thing is gorgeous. I, I like the the finger loop back here. Uh, S35VN blade steel, we talked about that earlier, uh, is just oh, yeah. and amazing. The and the sheath with the fire starter, that ferrocerium rod. And I want to, uh, one thing I want to note, so on the spine, you'll see this notch right here. And that ferrocerium rod is what that notch is made for. It fits right in there perfectly. And 
that gives you a great place with a nice 90 degree grind so it's nice and sharp on that edge right there so that you can really really throw some good sparks out and get a lot more surface contact with that ferrule rod it's i mean it's it's awesome you're looking at a stonewash blade uh overall blade thickness of point 13 inches and a blade length of 3.5 inches overall length 7.75 inches and uh, you're looking at black g10 handles you know this is one that had i known about a little bit sooner i probably would have put in my collection so this one's definitely on my wish list after seeing it playing with it now I think that would be a great knife to carry on you going yeah. out just about anywhere. I even like the little fire symbol they got. Yeah, and uh, this is one. So we've seen a lot of knives recently with this, uh, I guess, finger hole in the in the back of the tang there. This is a full tang fixed blade. And this is one of the first ones I've seen that is comfortable to hold either way. So, And what I mean by that is, if you keep your finger outside of that finger hole and hold it just like that, super comfortable. Put your finger through it, still really comfortable. They are also class leading, in my opinion, with their boxes. Yeah, that and that's something we've talked about before, too. It, it, it These things are, are beautiful. And now for my high-end pick. And, you know, this is nothing special. I don't think we featured this one on the channel at all, uh, but... This one was one that I've I've definitely had my eye on, and I think it's a great value for what it is. And this one is the Benchmade Saddle Mountain Gut Hook Skinner. Rolls off the tongue. Say that again. Benchmade Saddle Mountain Gut Hook Skinner. So they took the old school approach on this name. <laughs> yeah, they did. They did. They definitely did. And this one, I mean... That is a nice sheath. It is. It's a very nice formed leather sheath. And let's take a look at this one. This one's coming in. I'm going to go ahead and say the price on this one. one sixty one fifty. This is that Benchmade Saddle Mountain Gut Hook Skinner with a 4.17 inch CPM S30V Gut Hook Blade with the stone wash finish, smooth stabilized wood handles, full tang fixed blade. It's .14 inches thick with the lanyard hole in the back end right there. It's 8.75 inches overall and weighs in at only 4.6 ounces. Includes the brown formed leather sheath and is made right here. I feel like that sheath's at in least the a $40 USA. value. No, right? It, it is very well made, very well done, and high quality. S30 V, S30 v blade steel. I, I, I just I really like that one right there. That, you know, for the value and of what you're getting, that's probably one of the better picks and also with those scallops i was about the, to comment on that, that on the spine right back there that kind of reminds it's not as detailed but uh it kind of reminds me of what Cast castillo? castillo does yeah um the blade hook right there uh the gut hook right there is extremely sharp and that's a that's, that's a great that's uh, a good high end pick right there. that's a good high end hunting knife if, pick you know right on there. any other normal show that might have been your low end budget pick I sent some shade being thrown my way. <laughs> um, well, real quick, I'm going to do what's in my pocket because I want to give a shout out to one of our former employees here, Alex Ao. He, uh, along with you know you, Mari, and uh, uh, Curtis. Yeah, uh, Mike Curtis. You guys uh, helped me out with you know getting Duke started on his knife collection, and then Alex Ao hooked me up with this nice tour suitor. Yeah. Or Sutor. You've uh you've had your eye on that thing for a oh, while. Oh man, I've been eyeballing it for a long time. So Alex, man, thank you if you're watching. This was a great gift and I I carry it with carry it with me all the time now and I probably will for a long time. It will definitely be a user because of that. because, uh, you know, it's just a good memory, good good thing to, you know, always get to think about. And yeah. so and then lastly I wanted to show what was in my pocket. We showed it a little bit earlier on uh, last week on the, the live, the live. this was this is, this is a drum roll. This is the most expensive knife I've ever bought while working here, and it is the Protect uh, TR3, and it is that's the sapphire blade. So there were there were not very many of those. I, I got the opportunity to get one. I thunk thunk about it over I the, thunk about it over the the weekend. And I said. 
God, if you want me to buy it, it'll still be there <laughs> over the weekend. And I came in and they're like, well, we sold out. It's like, all right. And God spoke. And then they're like, wait, there's one more. I was like, God. <laughs> 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 so I had to get it. One more. It's It's got like this abalone button in it. And I just, just. Uh, what it is, too, is a DLC coating. I looked it up. Okay. And it's something that they do that actually makes the steel even harder than what it actually okay. is. And they, they have it in a couple of other finishes. They use the same coating in the rose gold one. They, I, they apparently had a rose gold one a while okay. back. And that's what it is there. And then I'm going to have you show what's in your pocket. And But also, uh, I wanted to take this opportunity to thank you and everyone here and Greg uh, for all the hard work that, that went into, uh, you know, the week of National Knife Day and Case Day. That was a lot of stuff. It was very stressful for us to do that. And I'm actually going to ask Greg to come over here right now and sit down and uh, let him, let you introduce them to Greg a little bit better than what you've known from him, just kind of like Sasquatching in the background. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. So, well, I'll go over what's in my pocket real quick before we introduce Greg. We've had some people asking me what's on my hip because I've been, I've been wearing this for a while. And uh, this is actually a custom that I had made, um, my first custom that I've ever had made, by a friend of mine out in uh, Oklahoma. Give him a shout out. His name is Wes Lyons of Lyons Knives, and he does amazing work. He does great Damascus work. He also does great handle work as well. He made this one. This is his EDC blade shape, and... I absolutely love this thing. I carry it every day. It is a user, even though it is a custom. So I, I firmly believe in in using the knives that you get, uh, even if they are a custom-made knife like this. So that's that's the one that I'm carrying on me right now, in addition to my Mini Adamas. And also, I want to give a shout-out to Clip Point Greg for this case right here. He got me. He found out that I love Seahorse Whittler, so he got me this seahorse whittler and a shout out also from isaac to clip point greg his generosity has been amazing he's been awesome and a great supporter of us and we want to support him as well so if you haven't checked him out check out the work that he does especially on instagram youtube at the well. clip point and on youtube uh him and um, josh josh's videos they are amazing and so that's a great intro to greg greg is our Media coordinator, web coordinator for our media department here. I he, think they made that title up for me. Yeah. Media coordinator. And I just made I, that up off the top of my head. I don't look at my pay so, stub. I'm married. So, uh, Greg does a great job here, and we are so thankful for you, Greg. We really appreciate it. Greg is the one that is doing all the scheduling while – you know, Isaac and I are out trying to film and trying to get editing done. We do some scheduling, but, uh, you know, for the most part, Greg is the one behind the scenes that a lot of times you're talking to in the comments. Sometimes you're talking to me. Sometimes you're talking to Isaac. But a lot of the time you're talking to Greg in the comments and stuff like that. It really is a team up here, all three of us at any time point period. So feel free just to say SMKW Media or whichever, and then we'll get back with you. And Greg also is the one, you know, trying to keep Isaac and I on task because we definitely we get spread in a lot of different directions and stretch in a lot of different directions. And so we end up with a little bit of ADD sometimes, and we're like, oh, squirrel, what? Um, but most importantly, I am the reigning cheap champion up here. You are the reigning cheap champion. What have you got in your pocket? CRJB, the Malaya. CJRB, the Malaya. Yeah, that is a beautiful knife right there. And they have been insanely popular. I've got the um, Jade G10 version of this one. Yeah, how close did you get to that one? Um, well, it cut me. <laughs> so I had to buy it. And I I really like it. It's it's been a very very popular knife for us and a great design right there. We've got them in the red. We've got them in the black. We've got them in the jade. We've got the jade in the black finished blade as well as the satin finished blade. So that's um that's what's in Greg's pocket today. Uh, what else do you usually carry? Well, I have a Kaiser in my other pocket at the moment, but we don't currently sell that one, so I can't show it off. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I always have a Rough Rider on me at, yep. somewhere around. So yep. I've always got those. Uh, most importantly, sticker wall. Send more stuff into us. Yep, absolutely. Send more stickers in. 
we, ha- we, we need to finish spaces. up our – we have blank spaces right here that yeah. we need to fill up. Down here. So send us more stickers because we can't fill up this sticker wall without you sending us stickers. We'll give you a shout-out. We'll put them up on the wall and post the video giving you a shout-out, putting them up on the wall, and you're going to stay on our wall for everyone to see. Well, folks, that's about it, and uh, we've showed you a lot of knives today. We hope you enjoyed them. Thank you for joining us. We've been in the comments down below with you, all three of us usually. So sometimes I can't make it depending. So, oh, well, looks like he's taking some home with him. All right, well, folks, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you so much for being in the comments with us, and stay tuned for more great content. We've got some really cool stuff coming up. And remember, if it cuts like anything we've got on this table, then we carry it.